Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So no long intro. I just want to say thank you so much for being patient with me and getting these monthly readings out. Shit's been real. <laughs> All right. So um, Taurus, pre-shuffle. The only thing I want to say to you right now, Taurus, is piensalo. Think about it. You have the Four of Swords here. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. Ooh, and you have that with the Ten of Swords. And you also have the Two of Cups here. And then the King of Swords. Yeah, there's something that you really need to think about, Taurus. And it's interesting because as I was doing the pre-shuffle, the King of Pentacles flashed me, but it didn't actually come out of the deck, right? Um, and the King of Pentacles represents you, Taurus. Now, the King of Pentacles would also represent you being stable, solid, and grounded, and secure, and firm within who you are, and know, uh, and, and right, who you are, and knowing yourself very well. There is, there is a very confusing relationship, circumstance, or situationship that you have in front of you right now, Taurus. And I feel like you have the opportunity to put some long-standing circumstance to rest. Something that has been very difficult for you. But honestly, Taurus, the only thing I can really, really say to you about this point, about it at this point is, you really just need to stop, take a break, Four of Swords, and think about it. King of Swords, yeah, look, King of Swords to the Seven of Cups, and then that's to the Six of Swords, and then there's Justice. All right? there's something that you've got to put to rest here. You've got to work to see through the illusion and the confusion. And whether that means that you're putting this relationship to an end or you're just putting toxic um, elements, I think I would, I would want to say toxic emotional elements or toxic men mental el elements to rest. It doesn't matter. It, you don't necessarily have to be leaving this relationship. If that's what's called for, then do that. But you don't have, that doesn't have to be the answer. What the answer could be is just... Toxic thinking, nine of swords. And that could be standing in the way of a really beautiful relationship here for you. Okay? With the six of swords also, this is you moving from rough waters to calmer waters mentally. But you got to think about it. Piensalo. Think about it. It's all you can ever really do. And this is not something that you can get from the external. I mean, sure, look at what's going on in the external, but then figure out, and I said the very same very same message to Aries, um, think about what it is that you feel. How do you feel about this? How do you want to move forward? The, 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 the changes can only ever really be, be made within your own self, Taurus. So some of you, I am picking up on energies of some of you wanting to like go out and change other people to fit your mold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna happen, Taurus. So you might want to cut. You bump that now. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Let's see what else we've got for you for the month of September. Yeah. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our month of September 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus, five shuffles. Here we go. One. Two, three, for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for September 2020, four, and five. Alrighty, Taurus. Boop. 
overall energy. Uh, first of all, Taurus, I'm seeing, I'm seeing silver light for you. And, I, and it's like I'm seeing a, a bull basking in the light of the moon. That's interesting. I wonder what that means. Overall energy, though, you do have the page of wands. Yeah. So Taurus, you're in the process of re-identifying yourself in the physical. There also may be some new project that you would like to get into, a new creative project, a new ex a new way. But really, what I want to say is a new way of expressing yourself. Underneath the page of wands, wow, you have the page of pentacles. And what I'm getting with this, Taurus, is that you have a new opportunity in front of you. There is a new relationship, a new friendship, a new friend circle. This is very similar to what I was saying to Aries. But either way, Taurus, you have a new opportunity here, and that's kind of influencing you to change the game, switch it up a bit. And I want to say, I know how stubborn Taurus energy can be, no offense, I, I mean... If you're if you if you if you follow tropical astrology, I'm a Taurus sun, so I get it. But I want to say kudos to you because I also know how difficult it is for Taurus to accept change. But I feel like you're taking this like, like excuse like <laughs> excuse the pun, but you're taking the bull by the horns at this point. And that's really what I feel like here. Underneath the page of Pentacles, okay, you do have the Three of Swords. But underneath the Three of Swords, there you go. The new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. And I really feel like you're taking some sort of heartbreak and turning it around for yourself. In essence, kind of using it to your advantage and changing the game, which is then providing you with a brand new opportunity, maybe even a new relationship, a new soulmate bond or something like that. And actually, Taurus, now that we have this Three of Swords here, this could be something that happened a long time ago or something that was has been a major part of your life for a while, a major hindrance maybe even made, and for some cases I'm hearing that it was holding you back. But now that you're switching up the game and I feel like you're changing the way you view this, the way you understand this, maybe even coming to terms with it, that's allowing you to re-identify yourself and to step into a new reality with a new opportunity. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, you have the Eight of Wands. Communication, yes, but swift movement. Excuse me. I feel like as you really go through this integration or changing process, things are going to move very, very quickly for you. Lots of opportunities are just going to start showing up. Okay. Eight of Wands is coupled with. Yeah, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. Taurus, I really feel like you are opening up the floodgates of opportunity for yourself right now. I feel like you are definitely getting off of this karmic hamster wheel. Whatever this is for you, these karmic circumstances, I really feel like you're changing that. You're closing the doors on all of those. You're closing the windows. You're, clo you're, you're cutting off the access points to this, whatever this is for you. And that's opening up some brand new avenues of opportunity for you. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading. Ah, there you are with the Hierophant. But the Hierophant is about teaching and learning. And quite frankly, Taurus, I feel like you have learned some major, major hard lessons here. And now you're, fi it's, ooh, you're finally reaching the emotional maturity or the emotional responsibility or the sense of self-respect or whatnot to honor and recognize these lessons for what they were, what they are, or what they have been. Which is then allowing you to close some shit out, change your destiny, change the game. The Hierophant is coupled with, there you go, the Knight of Swords. I really kind of feel like you're not hiding away from these lessons any, any longer. I feel like you're either charging in head first and getting the job done work with intentions to like put something to rest or to, intentions to handle something, or you're taking what you have learned and you're charging forward with it. No longer afraid of the repercussions is what I just heard. No longer afraid of the what ifs and who's going to challenge me, who's going to stand up to me, who's going to get upset with me. It doesn't matter. 
You've learned your lessons. The universe has put you in these certain circumstances for a reason, not necessarily for anyone else to learn from it, but ultimately for you to learn from it. And then other people can learn from it by you taking what it is you learned and now putting that into practice. All right, Taurus. Closing myth, no, I'm sorry, your challenge in the first half of your reading. There you go. The Ten of Wands. You've been carrying these burdens for so long. And now look, if anybody in the Zodiac can carry a, a load of burdens like this, it's fucking Taurus, okay? But do you really want to be carrying all of these things anymore? Quite frankly, do you really need to be carrying these things? Were these ever yours to really carry to begin with? No, probably not. Mm -hmm. The challenge here is to let go of the burdens, but quite frankly, Taurus, when it comes to the Hierophant and, and the Knight of Swords here, I don't think you're going to have much trouble with that at all. I think you are very, it kind of feels like you are very happily, gleefully willing to drop these burdens because they're not yours. They never were. Even though we all know you're strong enough to carry them. Fuck that shit, man. I don't need that. Ten of Wands is coupled with. Ugh. There you go, Taurus, the world. I mean, I want to say 11-11. I want to say congratulations to you, Taurus. Closing out the major arcing cycle. I love it. Closing message or potential outcome for you here. Okay, well, there's the five of cups. I mean, that's to be expected when you're letting, when you're releasing, letting things go. And you might be feeling a little bit of this energy too, but I think it's mostly the people around you that could really be feeling this. And if not, I really, Taurus, I really just don't feel like you're too focused on those three cups that have spilled right now. Like, yeah, you might have to go through a little bit of a mourning period, a little, you know, you have a little cry here or there, or just recognize what it is you're letting go of but ultimately i feel like you're going to be real quick to turn around and pick up those two cups and keep going okay five of cups is coupled with there you go the empress this is also a, a representation of your energy in some ways but this is why i don't feel like you're too focused on the the the, the morning aspect of this because i think you really understand just how abundant you are or the universe is so I really don't feel like you're going to be spending much time mourning anything here, okay? Okay, Taurus, there you have it. I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to move, over, move on to Spirit Monthly Part 2, which can be found on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon yet, I highly recommend you get there, patreon.com slash divineconversations. There's a lot of stuff there now, and there's going to be a lot more in the future. Um, so check that out. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, don't hesitate to email me, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All, all of that information can also be found in this, in this description box. Email me, let me know what you'd like, and I'll get you set up. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>